Well, I farmed a bit and tried uh, playing with a whole bunch of different chromes and upgrades and generally ended up right, right back where I started. I'll just use the slightly more protective version of this for now. It's a bit heavier, but I got some leeway with my... I'm currently using the Fion Chrome. I think maybe... You'd think with the stat scaling that this would be better than this, but this isn't even fully upgraded, and yet, as far as I can tell, it just ends up being better in every way. <laughs> I'm sure there's some way to make this work, I just can't quite figure it out. I think maybe if I had a strength veil on at the same time, maybe I could get it to work out. Because, yeah, it's not clear what you have to do to make some of these things work. Either that or the whole system's a bit broken and I don't know. <laughs> I may have to uh, resort to some extremes in the next boss fight because we're starting to get up to the boss fights that I'm legitimately afraid about. And the next one is probably in my top three I'm worried about this boss fight. <laughs> I think we have a uh, cutscene to get through here. Get to our mistal. And... No? I thought we were going to have story time with Jack before anything else happened. What's... Nope. Hello. I'm just going to throw everything in the kitchen sink at it. Try and get her out of the way. Oh, uh, you're a gun one. Okay, fair enough. I thought it was a bit of a mean ambush. If I'd known this one had a gun, I wouldn't have worried so much. Because it's not that terrible. Here's where the Artemis vestiges are. Uh, I really want another scout vestige, but I don't have enough depth maps. And frankly, I don't know where to get more. Oh, here's the cutscene. It's always in the last place you look. Yeah, maybe if I pay attention, I'll figure out what was up with Mido. Can you hear me? My asthma must be too thick for it to get through. No, I think your mobile Jack, plan has run out, dude. All right. That's one hell of a phone you're using there. The cavalry's here. <laughs> Your sidekick sent us. Eva did? Good. Then she got away safely. I somehow feel like that wasn't what happened just then. There's a lot I want to say to you, but I'll keep it short. Thank you for watching over Nicola. I really appreciate it. I wonder if this cutscene's any different than the bad version. Sure you should I haven't got this far in the My Bad playthrough yet. Who was it? Who attacked you? Somehow, the impossible happened. No successor should be able to escape from a sealed crypt. A successor? Wait, are you saying Mito attacked you? Eva already told you? That'll save some explaining. It's strange. I'm not picking up any relic response from Mito's body. And yet, as far as I can tell, the crypt is still functioning normally. Okay, so Mito actually did give the relic to somebody else, rather than take it on himself. Blind to his deception. Wait, where are you going? Mito took the relics that were being held inside of Eva. He has to be stopped. No matter the cost. Dun dun. Mind you, Eva is still got at least one relic. <laughs> Let's go with him. You think? This uh, get bad. You think that would have made him suspicious? Why wouldn't he have taken the throat if he wanted to take all the relics? And thus the plot thickens. 
Uh, I will burn you. In this case, I'm just dancing around looking for that. Yeah. Inevitably, there is that one guy here. No, oh, damn it. Right at the same time. Oh, damn it. No. Everything went wrong. I guess maybe I can pull out a win. I don't think lightning is very effective on these buttons. Maybe I should try ice instead. I know ice is probably the best use against the boss of this area. Just wanted to... there we go. Ooh, an icon. What a glorious uh, reward that is. There's a mistle right up there and I can't get to it. Because first we have to go Spelunkin. Oh joy. Unfortunately, I did go look at the wiki, and uh, the armor piece that I want, my probably one of my favorites, is very late in the game. So we're not going to see it for a while. I think uh, builds using chrome, you have to really know exactly what you want. Because anything less than that is going to be disappointing. I really wish I could get fire barrage. Oh well. It's not going to happen, so no point worrying about things like that. Oh, well. It was hard to see what happened there, but that was definitely very effective. Okay. We've got any people hanging off the edges, waiting to drop down or otherwise make a meat out of me. I think there's a lost invasion around here too, which is also kind of crappy. Almost that instant uh, death state there. Oh. And they're trying to inhibit me. Assholes. Oh. I just I really just wanted to finish her off, not overkill her. <laughs> that was slick. I don't think any of this is going to matter much, though, in the end. Because when it comes right down to it, I'm still going to have to go trigger that invasion. Oh! Damn it! I got suckered. I knew there were slimes here, I just didn't think they were right there. How do you guys like ice? You don't like it at all. Man, there's a real difference between one type of barrage and the other. I should just go for flame spikes. That would probably be more effective than the crush version. And I feel like there was just treasure at the end of this. Oh, that's sort of treasure. Normally I'd be overjoyed, but uh, I don't think I need any of her abilities, so up there is where the invasion will happen, if my brain remembers correctly, which it often does not. If it's not, 
and invasion, then it's a pretty severe ambush. But I'm struggling to remember which of those things is true. Like, oh, looks like a pretty nasty ambush, actually. There's someone behind me as well. Okay, if that's the case. Yeah, this was a terrible ambush. Oh, god damn it! I didn't expect to go flying. I was just trying to get into a spot where I could parry one of them away. Ah, well, that's the worst. I didn't achieve anything, and I got sent all the way back. Well, hopefully this time I can at least get a bit further without giving the game away. Yeah. I thought I had that one. Harry did not work out. Yeah, the big downside with this build is the i pool is relatively low. So better make sure I got plenty of ammunition before I go anywhere with it. Somewhere. Now the problem is it'd be best if they would come down, even if it was just a little. But it looks like their AI is a bit smarter than that. In that case. If I eliminate one of them... Oh. And I should be able to start eliminating some of the others. Before they're ready to do anything about me. the best thing to do in a situation like this would be to knock off as many as possible. Alright. Three down. This one didn't even see me. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, I guess it wasn't a lost ambush after all. That is fortunate. Yeah, who says this game has to be hard when you're solo? Well, Carmilla, it's certainly been a while. Ambushes in this are just like ambushes in Dark Souls. You just gotta think about your approach a bit. And then something that seems unmanageable becomes very manageable. 
That being said, I remember the room up here being a slow, torturous sort of affair. Where, if possible, you want to try and eliminate these quickly before the next one or two enemies turn up. So, get rid of the first one. Then attract the next one. Close, but no cigar. Anyway. Looks like the last enemy doesn't really go that far down the room anyway. I used up all my icor now though. So gonna have to get some back. Weave in a few claw attacks and uh Suddenly it doesn't seem so unmanageable. Now I remember there's a enemy up there that they would like you to uh, annoy yourself fighting on that bridge. But I spotted her the first time I came in this area and... Nope. There we go. I always thought this is a much easier way to deal with it. <laughs> now all I have to do is survive to get there. <laughs> Shouldn't be too bad. I seem to remember there being a surprise up there. Now lock onto that. Yep. Surprise! Huge hammer. Well, I'm unhappy about the fact that I'm probably not going to get any titanium anytime soon. Oh, Hello, slimes. That did not do much to them at all. Thought I'd give it a try, but... Yeah, it can be very good when you're surrounded sometimes. Oop. Hello. There's a chance to get some of my, uh... Ooh, camouflage. Gotta remember that's an option too. There are probably some areas where it would help a lot. there somewhere. You just have to figure it out. Yep. <laughs> right out of the gate. Hmm, do we have any other weird or interesting people? Want my blood? Oh, where'd you come from? Undamaged paint set. Who the hell's going to want that? Just... <laughs> Just uh, eject that guy from the fight for a sec. Got to figure that was probably the best way to get rid of the guys next to, next to the cliffs. I could have just thrown them off. 
but it's not an ability I use very often, so I sort of forgot I even had it on. It was the best option I had out of a bunch of not always very good options. And I'm no good at using these consumable items. Some of them, by all accounts, should be very good. Because it's like having an ability that you don't have equipped for free. The only thing you think would be limited charges and probably a bit of an increase in use time. And of course you'd have to start actually man actively managing your items, which is also a bit of a uh, situation. Now I'm going to go right for the mistal, I think. I can waste time exploring this area once I feel more secure. Oh. You always think you can, then you can't. Oh. <laughs> I guess she was still immune to it. it. Might not work when they're focused. Which is a darn shame. Damn it. I didn't get a chance to see which one was more effective. Oh, fire. By fire, I think. Yep. Almost 25%. Yeah, this area is just a wash in blind corners and people willing to use them. can kill somebody, you better well. Now, there's nothing over there for me just yet. Ah, here's the mistal. You're excellent. Now, let's backtrack a little. Because forward should be the way to the boss. Yep. And over, not this way, but back in this direction. Here's a bit of a side venture. Oh, there is a, there's a vestige over there. I just, I don't think there's any hurry to go get it. Because you have to go that way anyhow. If you're going to get out of here. This seems a bit... Like it should be a trap. Oh, survivor. Well, that could be good. Oh. That spacing. Man, I have a lot of haze. Like, almost too much haze. I have no idea how I'm going to beat the boss of this area. It's hard. It's really hard. I had no problem leveling up during my first playthrough, and... I barely got through this part. I guess it'll be one for the ages. Lots of steel here. Nope. Oh. It's like who who's gonna fire at me? Oh, no. It was a draw. Any more cheeky enemies? Doesn't look like it. Powerful spices. For later on, when I actually look up who gets what in the ridiculously convoluted gift system. <laughs> it's a kind of mini game I'm not sure I really like very much. I feel like something is going to happen. If an invasion happens, I'm just gonna... Okay. Well, you know what? We got the, uh, we got the item. Oh, 
No. Nah. These enemies are too fast for me to properly outrun. Because there. I don't have enough Ikor either. If I could put some space between some of them. And then actually carry a couple. That killed one of them, but it means nothing, because it left me too vulnerable to the next two. If I'd been better prepared, maybe. Uh, I do feel like I have to go back and get that haze, though. It's a little too much, and I might be able to get some last-minute upgrades with it. Ooh, I almost fell in that hole. Jesus, oh. There's another vestige over there, too. Yeah, these little holes everywhere. Are not for the faint of heart. I'd probably feel a bit better about taking on lost invasions if they gave you something a little better than just a lost shard every time. Kind of like, what's your, what's your deal? Yeah. Uh, oh crap. Alright, one down. There's my haze. So... Shall I go collect the Artemis fragments, or shall I go try and liquidate my uh, haze supply? I'm not sure. Presence! Excellent. I guess maybe I'll go try and get these vestiges first. If I'm going back to base to spend money on abilities, then that means I'll actually have something to spend my haze on. Also, I may die an embarrassing death to this guy, but I don't think so. Because these guys hate ice. And I have ice to spare. More Artemis. And over the other side of this way. Because when I do the boss, I'm definitely just running to the boss room. I will not be fighting every person who wants my number along the way. Yeah, ice seems to be the way to go. <laughs> Hello. I mean, there is a little bit of distinction between their attack speeds here, but... It's still not good to be ganged up on. Should have been more careful. Yeah, the Black Blood Liberator is. Uh, trying to figure out which one it will. Oh, no, it's a. It is a claw type. That's good to remember. Willpower, though. I guess that means it's good for dark gifts, though. Maybe not in its, not in its current state when I have no uh, ability to use it, but maybe keep it in mind. I figured there must be an alternative. 
I may have to use something that isn't the claw soon. Sorry about that. Depending on how this boss treats me, uh, my current tactics may not be enough. I kind of figured there'd be one there. <laughs> There's another vestige there too. My life, everything that I had or held there we go. All vanished instantly in the great collapse. This is good. Having Carmilla's vestige available will give me something to spend my money on. Yeah, a lot of people... A lot of people complain that this game uh, throws multiple enemies at you a lot. But outside of lost ambushes, it usually does give you a way to break them up. And in that respect, it's actually no different from a regular Souls-type experience, because they all, they all do the multiple enemy thing. Especially if you played something like Neo. Neo does the multiple en enemy thing a lot. And it largely just expects you to deal with it. Now, is anyone going to climb up? Or it otherwise... Yep. This game just trains you to be on the lookout for the for the next enemy that you can't see. And in that respect, it's fine. Uh, I am going to have to go back to the base for a little bit. And upgrade whatever I can find. So, be right back. Alrighty then. My expectation is not only will this not work out very well, it will in fact be embarrassingly quick. And then I might have to think about this again. I have a character that's not up to this point in New Game Plus. I might have to move them up here and get some practice in on this guy. It's been too long since I've fought this guy anyway. His first phase doesn't have a lot of moves, but... There's no way I'm going to pull this off without uh, bad things happening. Oh. The ship starts to really hit the fan, which it hasn't yet. Oh, I landed right in the sore spot. Oh, damn it. Why did I back off? I mean, the only good thing about playing at level 1 is you don't have to worry about the leftover health your regen isn't healing because it absolutely does. Now my timing's off. I was trying to... There we go. Ah! I tried to roll right then and did not work out. No, this is not good. I'm not doing nearly enough damage. And I'm getting hit by every second attack, which is just... Not gonna work out. Not at all. I mean, maybe if I use Cleansing Light? No, not really. Cleansing Light is just for buying time. It won't actually save me in this fight. Yeah, I may have to resort to uh, some sort of practice run. This is one boss I don't think I'll be able to just feel my way out for. Where do they stop? Ah, oh, good. We actually give you quite a bit of time in the uh, in the room here. Also, I don't have enough I-Core, really. Oh, 
Oh. Try and roll away at the last minute, and I just get clobbered. Oh, no. Nah. He's too fast when he's in a non... I have to resort to some elegance here. I mean, that certainly does hurt him, but... I call for this. I'm gonna have to change my build, I think. If I really want to crush him with arts in a hurry, then I'm not gonna be able to resort to this kind of lackadaisical approach. more luck than anything. He's going to start with an easy one, is he? Oh. Yep. I was trying to bait his explosion, but he sort of did it before I was ready. <laughs> There's no point running away from him in the, in the second phase. You're better off staying close to him and making him use the explosion as often as possible. You can effectively cover the whole stage anyway. Hang on a sec, I'm gonna just change my- All right, I know this looks silly, but that's because it is. <laughs> Hopefully, this will get us a slightly better result. But I'm not sure. May have to just, uh, Wait on that one. Oh. Still, this is gonna kind of remind me to put him in a vulnerable space where I can actually hit him with that. He does go into those a couple of times, but it's not going to work if I'm so stupid that I just end up getting hit by that. Oy. I may have to... I may have to keep trying this until I get a good one, and then I may have to just... <laughs> edit that one in. Because I... This could take a while. This is where I thought it would get tough. And it looks like it will. I mean, my other option is to go for a strictly heavy sort of build. But I don't think I have the the uh, health to back up that kind of build. Ah. Another problem, obviously, is that uh, no matter how much defense I have, my health is not going up. So, realistically, I can only expect a couple of hits out of this fight at once. Oh, crap. So inelegant. I mean, when it's going kind of well, it's not that bad. Oh, crap. Oh, well, let's rebuild ourselves. Oh, pfft. I don't have the micromanagement skill to be using this many skills while also oh. I 
I forgot I can't be giving him that much space. Damn it! I'm not handling the transition to his high perform very well at all. I have gotten through it without getting hit before, but those were very different times. Try one more time before I think about this again. Unfortunately, parrying him in this outfit is probably not an option. I'd have to at least switch back to a different one if I wanted to go for that kind of build. I mean, blocking is always an option, but... Much easier to get away when you're... Uh... using this dodge. But this dodge is a result of steroids, not something I can just do. Okay, I didn't expect him to just collapse on the spot there. Yeah, I might have to go ultimate glass cannon and just abandon all defense. But that's hard to do. Okay, you know what? I gotta take it back about cleansing light. It is actually doing something in this fight. <laughs> Like after he does that other one, I can. Oh. After that, I can always seem to get a good uh, shot in. Not so much after these other ones. Well, I certainly put a lot of beat down on him there, but. Don't ask how any of that worked, because I don't know. Oh crap. Nah. I dodged the wrong way. <laughs> Cleansing light wasn't up. Everything was bad. <laughs> the, uh, the amount of damage though. Like, it's... The strategy is almost there, I just gotta pull it off. Like, it doesn't feel hopeless, it just feels like if I can't get used to a second phase at some point, then I'm not going to make it through. Because it definitely feels like the amount of damage I'm doing is adequate. But in order for it to make any difference, I'm going to have to be better at actually... Believe it or not, the first time I beat this guy, the only way I could do it is I had to actually do enough damage during his Berserk. And if I could have done this... It wouldn't have been so bad, to be honest. I don't know what happened there. It wasn't good though. One of those times where I should probably get some i stuff out and... Oh dear. Ah crap. I'm uh, slow dodging again. Damn it. Yeah, I need my fast dodge up all the time, whether I like it or not. So I'm going to have to change my tactics here. Alright, this strategy might be very desperate indeed. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. I have permanent quick dodge. With a sword, no less. So there's some hope that if I can keep my defenses up while stuff is happening... Maybe... Things won't be so bad.
That damage nerf is nasty though. It's going too badly. Oh, crap. And it's not like I'm going to survive more than one or two hits anyway. This isn't exactly glass cannon, though. This is just glass, really. <laughs> I was on the ground and therefore not vulnerable to attack yet. Wow, oh, that didn't go well. Maybe if I could switch to something really heavy when he goes berserk really quickly. Can't imagine that going well though. Because even if it's super heavy, there's no way I can block all these attacks. Defense buffs don't seem to do it. The shield keeps me going for one blow, but that's not going to work. I need a I need a better strategy. I haven't got one though. <laughs> this is the only strategy I have at the moment. Space is so easy compared to the rest of it. Oh crap, that was lucky. I did not deserve that at all. Delay. Well, there's no way anything good's happening now. so damn fast! I'm gonna have to study my opponent, I think. Uh, I'll be back with the successful attempt when and if it happens. I'll give it a go and see what kind of result I get. Otherwise, it's probably not worth worrying about. Oh, damn it.
Honestly, this does not seem like it's gonna work. My drain rating must be pretty good if I'm still at 30, though. I'd really like is to be able to parry his straight move, but Saw it coming, I still couldn't do anything about it. Oh man. <laughs> okay, be still my heart. Oh. Well, that was certainly something. <laughs> oh. Calm down. I probably don't sound that excited, but Jesus. Oh. This is Miguel's memories, isn't it? Is this the one with the creepy face? He's going to be taking all of you in. If it is, I kind of want to see it. This, this is where it all began. Um. Yeah. Just kind of wondering if I could have chosen different armor for this. <laughs> told you not to come in here. <laughs> what is this? What have you done? It's nothing to be concerned about. I'm merely indulging my curiosity. You, however, you will become something far greater. He was smiling as he spoke, like a child playing with a doll. Yeah, this is Miguel's uh, memories. Because he's the creepy man. That I just killed. Good morning. <laughs> and how are we doing today, my dear children? You I got taller. Celebrate. For today we are entering a new phase of our research. Rejoice, Rejoice on this glorious day of reunion. Praise curiosity in the progress it brings. Well, you're not really that scary since I know I've kicked your ass before. Climb the ladder of evolution. Now, if we turn around. Oh, there it is. Creepy face. <laughs> I didn't know the eye moved. That's very scary. <laughs> oh well, here we go.
was well known. This is very stupid armor to be in this cutscene with. <laughs> but he used orphans like us as guinea pigs for his twisted experiments. Uh, Eskimo. Eskimo vampire. Slavery as enhanced soldiers. Any gravity in this cutscene is just gone. He always told us. <laughs> Humanity <laughs> is but a stepping stone to the future, and curiosity is the uh. philosopher's stone of evolution. His experiments never ended. He used my friends over and over again, like, like they were just Ooh, objects. Now I'm gonna have to put my freaking build back together. Mito, you bastard. I'll make you pay for what you've done. Sure you will. And Dark Knight. I don't remember if Dark Knight is any good or not. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Grab my no haze, I guess. And uh, I'm going to go calm down. So I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 